Hello everyone, you are listening Bipin Kumar and today we will discuss most frequently asked questions in agronomy. So let's just start from the first question. First question is asking what is the drought? If you see the drought, drought is the condition when evapotranspiration exceeds the precipitation, then the situation is called your drought condition. Actually, if you go some more literally, then according to the meter as per the meteorological data, when the rainfall annual rainfall is less than 75 percent of the normal rainfall in the situation, is called your drought. And if it is proceeding and exceeding more, and then the rainfall is less than 50 percent of the normal, then it is called the situation of the severe drought. In the history of the humankind, the most prolonged and most deadliest uh, drought has been occurred in Atacama Desert, that is situated in the Chile, and that is 400 year back right now, and that is very deadliest uh, drought in the history of the man. So different criteria on the basis of that, the drought itself is classified in different type like your permanent drought, seasonal drought, contingent drought, individual drought, meteorological drought. Agriculture drought, hydrological drought, and atmospheric drought. So these all are the different types of the drought. As again, these are the uh, definition on the basis of different criteria. So again, we will moving towards the second question. Second question is saying that life saving irrigation is known as. This is called actually supplemental irrigation. What is this supplemental irrigation? This is the uh, just addition of a small amount of the water to the rain fed crop. Actually, rain fed crop is totally depend on the rainfall in that area and suppose the rainfall is failing failing so in that period we uh, add addition of a small amount of the water that has been stored in nearby so the basically the objective of this is to uh, normalize the plant growth a normal condition to achieve a stabilized yield or to improve the yield so these are two basic objective of the supplemental irrigation or life saving irrigation Again, we are moving towards the second question. That's the question is saying that phenyl mercuric acetate is a which type of antitranspirant? Actually, uh, phenyl mercuric acetate is a stomata closing type of antitranspirant. Actually, this is a organic uh, organomercuric compounds, and previously it was used as a preservative in span and antifungal activity leather processing unit. So these were the some basic uh, basically previously it was used. And it was found that it's having the capacity to close the stomata. So after that, it has been used as a anti-transparent. And beside this, also there is a deflecting type of anti-transparent like kaolin and growth retardant type of the anti-transparent like psychosil. So these are the some information about the anti-transparent. Again, we are moving toward the next question. Next question is saying that which classes are suitable for regular cultivation under land capability classification. So your answer will be first, second and third classes. Actually these third classes are mostly suitable for the regular cultivation of the crop. And if we go a little bit more detail in the land capability classification. So actually land capability classific classification has been classified on the basis of US soil conservation services. And these services divided uh, uh, land into eight groups. And the first to fourth group is actually the able to support the cultivation of the crop. And next five to eight that is not able to support the cultivation of the crop. And the criteria under the first to fourth uh, group of the land has been like uh, is like this or like this. Uh, extent of the slope, erosion, depth, structure, soil reaction, drainage. These are the some criteria are taken under one to fourth group of the uh, land. And in five to eight group of the land, the criteria is like this. Criteria is based on actually mostly problems like history, flow, flooding, ponding, rocky nature, and grow, start growing season, snow cover. So that's why these are the mostly the problem in this five to eight group. So that's why these are not able to support the cultivation of crop except to some posture management. And if you are interested more to know about the land capability classification, so I will suggest you you go in my last video that is totally on the land capability classification, and there you will go uh, will get a lot of the information regarding land capability classification. And the last question, we move like the the direction from which the weeds are coming called as the this is the your answer is windward side. Actually, from where the wind is coming is known as the windward side and where it is moving is called your leeward side under the windward side the advantage is like this that it will receive more rain because when the uh, wind will uh, 
having a moisture and that will condense here only so windward side is more ad uh, advantages for the rainfall and if suppose that there is a mountain or some uh, hindrance in between that so beyond that leeward side get uh, very less rainfall and that's why it is called your rain shadow area so i, I think uh, you understand though these all are the questions and their answer and on the basis of this i have, i'm going to put some questions in front of you so please pause the video here and give the answer so these are the your answer i think enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed then you can like my facebook page uh, dr bipin kumar you can follow me on my twitter agro bipin iri there you will get a lot of the information regarding the agriculture and different updates and if you want to know and like to know more about uh, this type of the video you please subscribe here dr bipin kumar and till thank you very much for watching my video